Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today we are going to stuff $180 into one cash envelope and then a couple of sinking funds. If you're new here, please take a second, hit subscribe down below, I'd really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and spending a little bit more of your time with me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that you come back video after video. Everybody, please take a second, smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. So my daughter, we pay for her car insurance, kind of. So we have three cars. One of them belongs to my daughter. It is co-signed. Well, it's the loan is in my name and therefore I hold insurance on it. Since I hold insurance on it, but she drives it and she is very old enough to take care of paying for it herself, she gives us her car insurance money every month, which is $180. That 180, which you're looking at right here, then gets broken up and put into different cash envelopes or sinking funds, wherever I would like to put a little bit of extra money so that we can kind of stuff and, and have extra in our envelopes when it's time to. So that's what we're stuffing today is her $180, which is really, I've already paid the, the insurance bill with. So let's get started. We start with $10 for the pet. Uh, originally this started because we were cat sitting long term for her 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56. Um, and I would put 10 to $20 in here to help pay for the cat. I ended up, he's now living with her again, but it still kind of just stayed. That's how it was on my budget line. So that's just kind of how it stayed, which is really nice because now it helps pay for bird food. All right, so let's stuff that there. We don't need that one anymore. Up next is back to school for my child. We, um, I try to put anywhere from 50 to $75 in here every month. Sometimes I try to put in a hundred. It just totally depends um, to five, six, seven, the eight in here with school getting ready to start. This will get spent very quickly. So we should have 278, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 270, 275, 76, 77, 278. So can't wait to spend that. All right, let's mark that off. Um, up next is debt pay down. Um, we are on a debt free journey and I try to use some of her check or some of what she gives me for specific two specific things, some for our debt pay down and some for our savings challenge that is where we are in the process of traveling for her wedding. So we are gonna add 50 to our debt pay down, which will put $70 in my envelope, 50, 60, 70. And then while I'm here, we're going to, Oh, this one come in here real quick and we're gonna go put another 50 towards her wedding and we've already um, I was able to do the hundred envelope challenge I saved five thousand dollars for her I've already given that to her and now we are in the process of saving five thousand dollars for us so we're putting 50 of hers into there so that's a hundred dollars of her 180 that I get from her for insurance gone in a flash right, up next is emergency all right, one, two, three, four, five. We have two emergencies. We have a, oh my gosh, something happened right now. And then we have a savings challenge emergency. So let's see how much is in here real quick. Uh, 64, 65. So we'll put three in here and two in here. Now we'll put three over here. It'll be all right. All right, so we're gonna add two which will bring me up to $66 in here. Two, four, five, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. All right, that is nice and done. Let me check that off. Um, up next, family birthdays. Um, I try to take five of her check, what she gives me every month and put it into family birthdays. I have a, um, we always put $50 in here every month and that comes either from my husband's check or my check, but I try to use hers to buffer as a um, way to, maybe we get a birthday card, maybe we need 
um, candles for the cake, whatever. So I try to buffer this a little bit with what she gives me every month. So there should be 144. 10, 12, 13, 14, 141, 42, 43, 144. All right. Stuff that away. And then we're going to skip a whole bunch of these. Yeah, lots of things that aren't getting any money this week, but that's okay. And we are going to jump back to savings. This is a spendable savings for my husband and I. Um, we kind of agree if we're going to get a large purchase, we have this money and we don't need to worry about it. So we are going to add savings, another 15 to here, which will give me 145. All right. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 140, 145. Matches up beautifully. All right, give me a second to check off some things because I didn't the last time around. Up next is a $5 for our holiday savings challenge. Let me go find holiday. We'll put that over there. Uh, tags. So I take $5 from what she gives me every month towards tags specifically for her car so that we don't have to worry about a tag on her car when it is time to get one. So there should be 134 in here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 130, 31, 32, 33, 134. Great. Very nice. And last but not least, yep, I should have $10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, $10. And this is going towards my one month ahead challenge. So let's put that over here and I'm going to be real as I sit and look at all of this I think it's looking like it's about time for a savings challenge video because there are a lot of ones in there now most of this is ones but still looking exciting all right so let's put everything back where we need to go and that is how I stuff the 180 that she gives me for her car insurance if you have any questions, please drop them in chat below. If you have not already, please smash that thumbs up button. I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.